Hey everybody, welcome to Bad Comedy Podcast. My name is Mac and I'm here with Dylan Internet. Good morning, number one influencer once again. All right, guys. Consensus is out. We've been listening to a lot of Tucker Carlson and we just want to say that we know that the FBI was heavily involved in January 6th. Um, we know that COVID was a thing that was made to kind of control us, mm-hmm. um, control the population. It was a test, but now with all the independent media out there, they're kind of unveiling all that. It was a test, and let's just say we failed. What else? Um, all this uh, like trans stuff and all that stuff going on is all a distraction from the wars that we're fighting abroad, especially Ukraine, where there's minerals. And we've I've heard uh, Lindsey Graham talk about like how we need to have those minerals in Ukraine uh-huh. instead of uh, you know Russia. Maybe, yeah, maybe we need some vitamins. So we've we've been listening to a lot of uh, right wing, I guess. I mean, more more center right or, or more just look for the truth podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind but of a red pill, purple pill. Jason just got here, and uh, so we're going to have to uh, pretend that we're not, we haven't been doing that. We'll be right back, folks. Hey, we're back with Jason. Yeah, and what the fuck's up, bitch? Yeah, Jason was actually in the hospital. He had to get oh. his uh, thigh cut off. They cut off both of his legs to his, yeah. up to his knees. and he Somebody ordered, ordered a two-piece. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> it was Jason. so they had to get my thigh. Yeah, so now he has a full <laughs> what spider leg they gave him on one leg. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then, and then I'm Spider-Man. He has, I do whatever a spider has, can. He has a spider leg, a spider calf and foot, and then he has an elephant thigh still on one side. Uh-huh. Dude, I'm so fat. My calves are baby calves. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Since uh, you born. Calf, uh, let's go to Aaron Putnam's yeah. calf, Cafe. Um, oh, yeah. Check it out. Let's get some caffeine. I was, I was caffeine. watching our, uh, a Brad Kaufman video popped up on my feed, and I was so mad. I had a visceral how about a, How about, a, <laughs> how about a Brad Bossman? D'Lo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know the D- uh, boss man, whatever? No. He's a new rapper, and he raps like, whenever I go to the house, that's where I'm going to go. Mm. And I sell a lot of drugs, because I'm the big boss. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has all his raps are like that that flow, where it's like the big pause in the yeah. middle. It's I like horrible. That. I yeah, think it's like horrible, but... Well, like some, people, some people can do it well if they have really good beats, you know? Yeah, that's what it is. I and think it, he's it, an it, industry it, plan, it, honestly. If they, have, if they have a good voice and good beats behind them, they can rap like that. That's what, that's a hun- his whole career. They're, they're putting this guy over strong with, like, like uh, he's doing songs with, uh, you know, I remember Lil there was, Baby and there stuff. There's a song with, like, the, the son of Ralph Lauren or something. The son of, I think, the Pol- Ralph Lauren founder. I'll go to the whose house. Whose name might be Ralph oh. Lauren. I don't know. But his son was a rapper, and his voice is like, uh, his rap. I remember this one lyric from it. It was, uh, I used to get itchy when I would take Vicodins. <laughs> Hell yeah. Dude, they do make, <laughs> those do awesome. be making people itchy. It was great. It was just a, yeah. <laughs> and and the, the music video is him just driving in a, in a car with the top down. Uh-huh. Hell yeah. I like side oh, effects. I quit Viking in because it gave me rashes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> rashes. He had, oh, he had a Viking. Some people have intolerance to Viking in. Yeah. Oh, I got to find this song now. <laughs> He's having a, 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 a rap song. I quit Viking in because it gave me rashes. That's <laughs> not a good topic to rap about. No, I know. Like, but, but then he's like, uh, and it's like, I'm a lyric assassin. <laughs> <laughs> I look Have you ever up seen so him? long that I, I get actually, tingly. I started liking this song a lot <laughs> just because his voice was so overdone. Uh, stay up here, for, oh, for wait, so what's many it called? hours in a uh, row. I forgot his name. Hurts. <laughs> Have you ever seen those two uh, uh, Asian teenagers battling in some Asian country? They're having a rap battle, and the guy goes... Is it Kamala Harris and someone else? No, it's two Asian teenagers. <laughs> well, she's Asian. And, uh, and uh, the one <laughs> goes... But is she a teenager? Adam, who knows? I that no, teenager no one, I don't, was no one knows We haven't anything, seen her no birth certificate. No one knows anything about her. <laughs> we haven't seen her birth certificate. <laughs> she's, so. like, she's, she's, like, she's only talked in public like once in four years, I think. Uh-huh. Um, but, but I love her. I, I I saw her. She's a senator. I <laughs> she's only her. talked once in, in we public. Love Kamala. No, she was the vice president. She talked once, probably. Um, but once I saw she's her. She's got a scary on, laugh. I've seen her laugh. Yeah, yeah, it's mis- mistimed. Trump, I don't really know shit about her otherwise. Trump called it a... Well, yeah, because she, she hasn't been like, going on... She hasn't been go, uh, uh, being allowing the news to interview her. 
And um, but I saw the the DNC. Is it in, called uh, uh, Cuckoo it was, Hydrocodone? It was beautiful, and I fully back uh, Kamala Harris and it's uh, it, not Trump. I, we, I been dude, to I can't long even long. search this because there's so many songs about Vicodin coming up. Is that, Na- is that, that been, Nav or been, Cuckoo? I quit Vicodin because it gave me rashes. Okay. Uh, song. Uh, <laughs> the, okay, so there's these two Asian teenagers. I know you want to talk about Kamala and not hear my story. Chameleon? It has nothing to do with that. Chameleon? Uh, and then one guy goes, uh, I, I'm, I'm the best person in my area. I would never have sex with you because your ass is full of bacteria. Nice. Like that. It it's sounds really like a good. Trump line. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. But I it's like a guy it's... talking to a guy. Yeah. Trump's wow. kind of kind of it's kind of hard, you know. Trump. That's I, why I, you I, saw, sex I saw on the news that Trump yeah. Trump called uh, uh, chameleons laugh uh, a cackle, which is super sexist. Yeah, I know. It's you was know. she a witch, a female is it wizard? Nav, Nav Vicodin. Which, by the way, well, Nav is a Kamala it. Harris. You can't have my phone. Is it, Sorry. It's a lot I'll, I'll, maybe I'll say, uh, I get triggered by that. It reminds know. me of my parents oh, who take away my phone as a kid. Uh-huh. Go back and just type in Lyric Genius. Give me my phone. After it, after it. <laughs> I have the app. How many kids would choose the, their phone over their parents? Am I right? A lot. I think every kid. Yeah. yeah. That's what's going to happen eventually. Is <laughs> My it? iPad is my iDad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah parents, are gonna turn, parents are going to turn to phones. Um, I've been listening to... So I've been hate, I've been hate mom. listening, Jason, to like a lot of Tucker Carlson, Jordan Peterson, these interviews, <laughs> and I, 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 can't, I, I can't believe all the misinformation on, on these things. Oh and I, 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 I call myself misinformation because uh-huh. I'm trans, and I want to find out uh, what's going on out there. So I hate listening to a lot of this stuff. Uh-huh. They're trying to say that there was like a hundred uh, federal agents. And this is someone like who actually has the documents, like a hundred federal agents that basically made January six happen. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, no way. No, it was Antifa. It was uh-huh. an, yeah, it was Antifa. And no, it's like you're telling no, me. No, no, no. It was right. It was there's no FBI guys. It was MAGA. Dude, Lyric Genius doesn't. It's crazy that. MAGA guys. They're saying cops were leading them through. And well, they're, 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 I mean, yeah, these are fake cops. They said that there were. Uh, uh, people dressed in Trump stuff uh, from the FBI inside the building. No way that happened. Yeah. I well, say no I, way. I'm not, I, I'm not yeah, supposed I, to say this, yeah, but right. actually it was me. I was one of the, I got paid by the Jason. FBI to uh, dress in all black. Oh, you're the guy with the zip ties. I was the guy with the zip ties wow. jumping over the chair on January 6th. Jason, you ever see that picture of the guy jumping over the chairs with a handful yeah, of zip ties? I know. I didn't know that was you. They paid me to go in there with the zip ties and hog tie Nancy Pelosi. Really? Uh, yeah. And then no, I was going to get out of there you after could, that. You couldn't get her. No, I couldn't. Have <laughs> you seen like R. Kelly talking Nancy about Pelosi like, is... why would I hog tie someone? <laughs> it's like I don't know how to hog tie. <laughs> like, Nancy Pelosi is deceivingly quick. Yeah, you know, I'll her, say that. You know her real name is Nancy Pelosi, and she's Polish. So, really? Yeah. So right. she. Now I kind of like her. Yeah. Well, that's how I know that she's doing mm-hmm. insider trading is because she's way too dumb to do stocks because she's Polish. <laughs> well. I mean, she's a Warren yeah. Buffett or something. Well, it's incredible. <laughs> well, I'm trying to think. Her husband, like, her husband trades for her, but uh, yeah, she well, has she has like the highest trading portfolio of anybody. I mean, you think if she's strong. Polish, you could like trick her into some bad trades. Like yeah, uh, you can true. get her foil, you can get her foil Charizard for a yeah. Squirtle. That's probably why her husband <laughs> you, handles. You, you the can Pokemon also. Stuff. You can also probably uh, <laughs> remember that guy. He got attacked with a hammer. Yeah, <laughs> you can, you can also probably threaten like Zuckerberg and Bezos with like regulations and stuff. Maybe ask for earnings. You know, I think. Um, <laughs> can I tell you my new conspiracy theory? About but no, I'm, I think Donald that didn't. Trump? I think that doesn't happen. By the way, I, I listen to this stuff. They <laughs> yeah, hate it's a finance I, guy. And then, like. <laughs> and then, and then, and then I go to Rachel Mancow to hear the truth. Well, the news doesn't say who, who put the shooter up to it, right? Is that a conspiracy theory, or it's Mm-mm. um, it's. Or the hammer guy. No one talks about the hammer well, guy. Well, pe- people talk about how that kid was in a BlackRock commercial. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of sketchy. But um, Can I say my new conspiracy about Donald Trump is he paid the shooter to shoot him in his ear? Because <laughs> there, there was that. <laughs> well, at, at Do you first, know why? Because we made fun of his hair so much <laughs> that he wanted to get his ears lowered. <laughs> oh, um, you know, like an yeah. it's illusion. kind of to, to, to troll the people who've been mocking his hair for all this time. So people on the left legitimately had that theory that he uh, was getting his ears lowered. That he paid someone <laughs> to shoot him. That he paid someone to shoot him uh, so that he would get more votes. Yeah, pictures. Of Imagine Biden. paying and, someone to shoot you that close to your brain. <laughs> like, like, like if I'm paying someone to shoot me, hit me in the toe. It you is know? absurd. Like, yeah, <laughs> hit my like, leg uh, or something. Like this guy's really good. You could trust him. And he didn't. He didn't have bulletproof vest on either. No. If he was playing 
somebody else I'm going to shoot at him, he would have a bulletproof vest. Donald Trump is up on the stand uh, knowing he's about to get shot, (laughs) and he's just giving a speech like total. I mean, that would honestly, that kind of cool under the pressure of knowing you're about to be shot is would be like. Well, and he was about to be worth another presidency. The reason he (laughs) he actually got shot and then was. Yeah. If he just knew like it was coming and he was and he well, was just like, giving a speech like normal, uh-huh. <laughs> he has like this like slideshow that he pulls up and he kind of reads the thing when he goes over the immigration numbers or whatever. But he turned his head to look at that to start because he he, he to start the PowerPoint kind of yeah, and they turned his head to start reading off the thing, and then that's when he got shot. That's crazy. Yeah, just, yeah, and they say it was so close that they. The kid shouldn't have missed, but I heard th- I heard that he wanted to. So yeah, but imagine you're trying to shoot the president. You got to feel some pressure, you yeah, know. Probably like, <laughs> it's like asking a girl it's, out or it's something. Hard. I heard you that know? you probably got one shot before a bunch of people are gonna dome you. Well, I just think it's like honestly, the Secret Service just like, yeah, it's so the, sketchy. No, but no, they, all of they, it is they, so they, sketchy. No, no, they the Secret Service did their job. They did. Him. They tried their best. They did. <laughs> if I was no. in the Secret Service, I'd be have you watched, my pants. Have you, have you seen the news? But, they I did mean, their best. I'd be oh, shitting my news, pants. Yeah. I'd be like, the, the ro- dude, the roof was sloped, so they couldn't go oh, up no, there because then the Secret Service would have fallen off. Are you talking shit about Kamala again with this no, I'm talking, sloped uh, roof? No, what? No. We love Kamala and we love the news. No. You know, because she's Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm saying that there's no, there's nothing bad or behind nothing this. Nothing fishy about there's it. Nothing fishy. He's, it. The kid wanted uh, to murder him. Yeah, the only who won it. The only thing I could think of. I is, remember when I heard Trump was going to jail. I was like, I wish I was in there so I could. I heard Trump forcefully yeah, make love to him. This yeah, is what yeah, I heard from Rachel Mancow. Him in the show. You want to hear what the news? <laughs> who said? would it? You want to hear the news? Said the official news. Rachel Mancow on MSNBC. That's my gospel. Yeah, she uh, or they probably said that Trump <laughs> wanted to get his ear pierced, but didn't want it to be. He didn't want it to look gay, so he he hired you to shoot him through the ear. Do you think like a woman, you like know that, like a liberal woman, I believe woman, it. like a liberal woman would be like, don't call me a they. I'm not one of them. Yeah. Or do they have to be like, that's fine if you kind of ungender me. Yeah. I, well, I, yeah. I, it's I, misinformation. I, I, I don't right? want someone to uh, like not it, assume my gender. I don't want them to walk up to me and say they is it or it's not safe. What to are your, say what are your they pronouns? For everybody. If if someone asks me what my pronouns are before they talking get to assassinated. me, then then I then actually I, uh, then I say <laughs> then I say um he, uh, him, he him. Were you all at Power Hour when? Uh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't get it. I just say him. A girl I'm was him. doing crowd work at Power Hour and asked my girlfriend her pronouns, and she got like extremely offended she because so she's like, "Can you not tell I'm a girl?" She's oh, like, "Do nice. I look like a boy?" And then she was <laughs> like, the other "She was like legit it. upset for like a week." And this was just like a twenty year old trying to be quote unquote respectful. The Indian girl, yeah, yeah, because they think that like you could. That's not feathers. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you should look like a we. If you're non-binary, you should look weird. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Well, well, so you shouldn't she, look like a guy or a girl. You should look weird. Looks like Stevie Wonder a little bit. Because she has dark glasses and is black. Well, that's what Tito told me. That's, yeah, that's Tito. How I know. Tito's a genius <laughs> crowd work. <laughs> he saw a person wearing sunglasses and thought of one other person with sunglasses. Uh-huh. Stevie shout Wonder. Shout out to Tito. He's very funny. Good job, dude. <laughs> T- uh, does Tito have a last name? No. Uh, probably like... Uh, I think it's... Uh, Z- Z- Arizona. Tito Gorgonz- Gorgonzola. Is it s- 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 It's uh, yeah, the guy. F- the guy. Uh, uh, Ortiz. Uh, I think. Wait, Another Tito and Stitch. Tito. I think his last name. Am is I allowed Stitch. to sue Pfizer if Stitch. maybe I got Crohn's from the vaccine? I was thinking you should have a <laughs> show. <laughs> you should talk about that with a lawyer. I think you should have like a Crohn's <laughs> show, like it would be called Cronies. I, I didn't realize till I, the boys, I was, the I was listening. Boys. I was we should have a show where we give people legal advice. I like that. <laughs> And uh, financial advice. But, financial advice. Um, I was I was hate listening to Tucker Carlson and Brett Weinstein. Um, you, hate, you hate just like right wing, like red pill, everything right wing. I can't stand, so I listen to it and I go, Aah! Oh my gosh, it just yeah. fires you up. It pisses me off. Every it pisses me off, and I'm like, it makes me love uh, Kamala that much more. Uh-huh. But I, I I've heard, been I've been bait watching pornography. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> But I've been learning about. <laughs> I've, I've been just gets them so horned up. I, I start I, baiting. I've been hearing about how the RNA, uh, <laughs> how the RNA injections, which aren't really vaccines, um, 
have these if they're injected directly into the bloodline instead of a certain area uh-huh. it can cause like a lot of like things that set on early or set on when they wouldn't have set on yeah. like mm-hmm. Crohn's this is my uh-huh. area and I would never have sex with you because your ass is full of bacteria and, no and then mm-hmm. I, I call bullshit Brett Weinstein because I listen to the news and Rachel Mankow would never say that I get had a bad side effect are you um, I heard like RFK or something are you talking, talking about, about the vaccinations on our free episode <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> we're, 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 we're already <laughs> No, well, we're no. way too deep. Well, please. hey, the algorithm should l- keep listening when I say that I disavow that, and I uh-huh. think Rachel Mancow is right. This is some well, I don't right know if the, I think history. they might not want you to talk about anything. Well, this is why it. I don't think that <laughs> Elon. Okay. Uh, that's why this is why I hate Elon Musk because he wants free speech and he doesn't want anything to be censored online. Oh. You Wait, where did he YouTube. get his last name? His armpit smell? <laughs> nice. <laughs> this guy's a joke. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, but in all honesty, I actually love Elon Musk now. I'm really? Yep. He loves Elon now. Uh, my he friend Dave him. said we should have Elon Musk on our live episode. Uh, well, he's he's there to lend up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I guess, yeah, we're having Elon Musk on our live episode at Comedy Bar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and uh, it out Donald, come to the Comedy Bar. Donald Trump said he will, too. Uh, really? Theo Vaughn put in a good word. Can we Trump wait on there. Trump a little bit? I don't want to seem thirsty. No, no. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> Have Elon Musk on Trump? I mean, mm-hmm. we can't wait that long, you know. You'll get assassinated again soon. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we, get, we gotta get him while we can. No, no guns. And, and the, then, so I, I, I was thinking we. Uh, how about when Donald Trump was talking to Theo Vaughn and he was pretending like he didn't know how cocaine felt? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think no he, drugs. Well, I think he doesn't know how co- cocaine feels. He just takes pills. <laughs> you know, he's a he's an Adderall guy. <laughs> yeah, this, this is my impression of Donald Trump. Yeah, that's, 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 that's more a Hunter Hirsch Biden. I mean, him too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, he's smoking straight up crack. Like Hunter Biden fucking, is the opposite like the of shit. Hunter Hirsch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think like it's good to see Joe Biden. He could probably relax finally. Now. Uh-huh. They don't have to just put all sorts of horse tranquilizers in him like he's Joe <laughs> Rogan or something. Yeah. yeah. I feel like now that he's not running for president and he's just going to be like going to chill, he'll yeah. probably die, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, like yeah. now that he doesn't have like a the urgency, a thing that he yeah. needs to do. Uh, or they'll, do, they'll make it. We'll speed it up. <laughs> or do you think they'll take them out? <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah, they don't. They don't want any of that. Uh, that hunt, that hunter Ukraine Russia stuff coming mm-hmm. out. You know, no, it, maybe, did a, maybe they'll did be a, in a, maybe they'll be in a cabin somewhere. I did a joke. I, <laughs> I did a joke at Power last night that I told on this podcast, and it worked really good. I said, like, I'm kind of misinformed about uh, politics, but I heard Trump is going to build the pyramids and get the aliens to pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> and that, yep. like, worked pretty good. Yeah, I have uh, one of the episodes that thumbnailed it <laughs> uh, with, with the aliens and pyramids. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was my other Trump joke? But, oh, I tried to do that ears lowered joke. It didn't work. No. I tried it again here for some but, reason. <laughs> um, Jason, I'm, I'm actually going to be honest here. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm, folks, I'm, I'm endorsing Donald Trump. And I'm voting Willie Nelson. I'm not voting for him. But you're endorsing. But I'm endorsing mm-hmm. you to vote for him. Okay. So um, just, we were talking about Snoop Dogg might be a good uh, yeah. running mate for Willie. Willie if Nelson. He really to about accept. his cabinet. Yeah. So yeah. it would be Willie and then Snoop Dogg would uh-huh. be his vice. And then uh, Secretary of, uh, or we need Secretary of Defense. That's the war guy who would mm-hmm. do that. He'd be like a D D I. What is a D E I? It's, well, it's, it's got to be like someone who's cool. Uh-huh. Um, D O W. But not, I'm not. I, I want to. I'm not endorsing anybody. I'm not voting, and I'm not. No, th- and th- I'm not having kids, and I'm not going to live long, so I don't uh-huh. have to vote. Yeah, yeah. No, this is a, this is a. I respect that opinion. This yeah. is a. Yeah. Hyper- I did actually exercise yesterday for the first time in like six years. Maybe that's uh-huh. why I'm so feeling like so bad today. No, <laughs> that would make ex- sense. Exercise? I was like an hour late to the podcast. Well, because. Dylan's Dylan has a strategy he's doing. What's he doing? He's trying to become the fat guy. Trying to guy. He's gonna replace you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was pretty glad when you were late today. I was kind of like, well, okay, I wrote a bunch switching. of fat jokes you could have. Okay. Yeah. Jason's a playwright anyway these days. Well, I did write a play joke. with Ricardo. I wrote a play. We're gonna try and get it filmed and made. Can you, it's a multimedia play. Can it's you not, can you write the bad comedy movie? <laughs> I'll I'll write one. <laughs> I'm down to do that if, shit. If you if you're at the best, especially as I get squeezed out of all my shows, <laughs> yeah. uh, beer belly is getting canceled, and uh, out end of the line is going to once a month. But oh, we're gonna really? do an open. But the the guy there wants to do an open mic. It's sort of like I'm just combining everything. Wow. Yeah, well, that's good. You're condensing it. Condensing. Do I, because I, I I think that you were show and then maybe a mic. Out you were kind of over, we're talking about. I it think here. you overextended yourself a bit. Always. Yeah. That's my whole life. I know. 
I've mm-hmm. already I'm already having like new things strong. come in as these things are getting canceled. I know. For me, I'd do the opposite. <laughs> so like I just focus on one thing. Just epoxy. I just focus on one thing and then do a poor job at everything else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I focus Fun. heavily on I've one been, thing. I've been like working the, like twelve hour days like for the last month because I'm behind at work. So yeah, I've been getting killed. So I'm like. It We're also makes sense that all my it. shows are getting canceled because mm. I'm not like there. Mentally. Oh, I actually finished the deck. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. Uh, folks, so nice. if you ever want, I'm, I'm thinking about starting a TV show um, on X uh, where I teach people how to do home improvement. Ooh, X? That sounds nice. Yeah. So, well, I'm going to do it on X because that's, that's the only place. I mean, that place is terrible because that's free. That's where that's where hate speech is. I feel like, like Tim um, Allen <laughs> tweeted your joke, though, pansexual joke. I feel like the best way to not come early during sex is to picture Elon Musk's face. <laughs> that's true. I was just thinking, like, why is his website called X? It sounds horny, but you, you associate it with him and all the horniness is gone. Well, I, I think it's, that's, that's why it's one X and... instead of three. So yeah. It's, it's bad. Because, yeah, his face turns a three throws. X down to one, turns but on the volume on the X. I, I do have a question. Do you guys, <laughs> do you guys not remember? Wasn't there a point? I don't I'm here to bait watch. I don't remember when this was. One. Wasn't there a point when Zuckerberg like didn't want to have any censorship on on Facebook, and he was he was like cool with putting like that that anything was going on there, and then that stopped. I cannot I see, remember that. I feel like Is it was just true? based on how well, much money he could make. Well, I remember he was like okay with like beheading videos and anything going on there, but it would be like I've never it, heard it would of be that. like covered up, like blurred out. I, think I that remember they just got um, a bunch of pressure. I do remember that was like for like I think it was called this, this 8, 8chan was a website that legitimately had no censorship and it got like way out of control and got taken down immediately. Yeah. So it's like I think you know, and like remember how YouTube comments used to be every comment was the N word? Yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. I do think things are it's too not, sanitized now, but I also don't know how you find like a medium. Because I feel people, like a lot of people never well, saw so I, how I, bad I think it X was. has a yeah. thing where uh like if it's like X is bad, I can't I can't log on because you see murders and stuff like immediately. Yeah, yeah, but you can. I saw a guy get killed by a rooster the other day. Really? Like, yeah, they were setting up for a cockfight, and the rooster cut his leg, and blood started squirting everywhere. I need to get an account. And it's like you oh need to look God. at this now. But like, but also, <laughs> don't they? Isn't there like a uh, they'll put like disclosures by it? If no, a, on Instagram well, they do. No, 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 I'm saying I'm saying they don't. They won't suppress anything like all the other platforms do yeah uh, or or on twitter the videos autoplay i didn't even turn this on no you open it and a guy's getting stabbed yeah. that's awesome <laughs> and he walks back over the, to his it is daughter. awesome in but some ways is, is there not a, is, is. is there not a button where you can say show me less stuff like this I think it that's feels the like um, you should be able to there's probably the, the, i'm sure it there's feels a button like, where a, you like say a dystopian world like like mm-hmm. you ever see a god bless america where like they're just shooting like all the celebrities and stuff uh oh, it's just like awesome. it's this movie where it's like they just start killing like all the people you hear about, like the Kardashians, yeah. uh, the, the Westboro Baptist Church. They're just going around killing all the annoying people from the media. And because those people are hated by everybody, nobody ever figures out it's them. Yeah, they always think it's like, well, the, everyone hated them, so it could be anyone. Yeah, I mean, it is a dystopian <laughs> world because like the government <laughs> runs the normal media, and then the other media, uh, I guess, X is stabbing people and stuff, and the other, and it's, the, it's too much. And then Facebook and Meta block anything that they call us shocking. We're too shocking for them. Yeah, on YouTube, Instagram seems. Mm-hmm. Instagram has a button you could turn on and off, like how yeah much Instagram it blocks stuff. Weak. Yeah, but it's still but it's, it's weaker than it I still gives yeah. us like uh, strikes on Instagram. Then I have to take down some old videos. Oh, all the monetization shit I think is honestly just a scam by the companies. They're like, if you don't follow the rules perfectly, we keep all the money from this post. Yeah, it's like a scam. Yeah, yeah. That's all so that they can make more money. No, but my like, my, my worry to get is free speech on. At, the, on at, at this point, my worry is less getting uh, demonetized. It's more getting the channel kicked off on any <laughs> any of them. Have we ever been under threat of that? Yeah, on Instagram. What happened? I mean, we have a bunch of videos that. Um, Do people flag it? <laughs> Yeah, well, they just get flagged for. I think people must I think like if you just like say reporting it. I mean, so, sometimes. I mean, <laughs> l- luckily our uh, our Hofstetter video on TikTok that that was huge. Like nothing but bad went bad with that. Yeah, I don't. Know. Tim Dillon was talking about the creators on YouTube, and he was saying how he gets flagged for saying a word where it's like all these popular creators are messaging teens, but somehow <laughs> saying the word is the problem. <laughs> I've been watching lots of drama shows like in the background while I'm working, mm-hmm. and I think it might be a prerequisite to be a famous YouTuber that you have 
you have attempted to have sex with a kid at least uh, once in your life. Because then you're <laughs> in with what the kid's like. Like, even Mr. Beast is, like, getting in trouble recently and, like, the, the you know, the Jesus of YouTube. Right. What, what is he even doing? He is Jesus. One of, he cured the blind. He, he, he had a, one of his, uh, his workers who's, like, high up, uh, uh, Chris from Mr. Beast, transitioned to Ava and uh, was, like, talking to kids in Discord or, like, uh, teenagers and was, like, into Lolly. Which is mm. like like uh, cartoons of kids having sex. Um, but to Mr. Beast's credit, didn't well, he kind of get rid of him when he was? Uh, no, he's kind of defending. Well, him, you can't get rid of kind of like you can't whatever get rid of trans people these but days. But then they know, figured out there's like these old videos of him, and he says like bad b- baby was hot when she was you, on that show. <laughs> and she was 14. You, I told on you, Dr. my name Phil. is my name well, is I go by misinformation. That's my name. I'm trans. Yeah, and I uh, I'm a <laughs> You're the reason our channel keeps getting fucked. No, I'm I'm a detective. And I find all the misinformation, like on Tucker Carlson, you're a pet, you're Dylan. A pet, you're a ped detective. <laughs> you figure out who all the child groomers are. Yeah, uh, uh, Harriet yeah, the uh, yeah. And then I, like Chris Hansen. And over then I, here. I tell mm-hmm. Rachel. They call me Chris Handsome. <laughs> and, and then I've, I've, I have a direct line to Rachel, Ma- to Rachel Mancow. <laughs> I'm like the hot Chris Hansen. <laughs> Chris information. <laughs> Chris Handsome. <laughs> <laughs> To catch prey. To catch prey. That's going to be my name at the beginning of the next episode. <laughs> what about Chris, Chris uh, Hamsum. Chris Information. Chris Hamsum. What about Sam, <laughs> Sam Hamsum talent? No. <laughs> How about Sam no. Hamlet? <laughs> yeah. Wait, uh, is that even close? To uh, wait, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sam Hamlet. Sam, Sam to be Hamsum. or not to be, I'm writing a book. <laughs> <laughs> to... Uh, to London, I don't, I don't know, to to be or not to be opening for London. Last time I saw Sam, he got mad at me because he came downstairs and he said I was having a pie, referring to the pizzas upstairs. And somebody said, "There's pie," and I was like, "No, Sam's a writer, so he's got to use fancy words." Oh for yeah, and he got mad at <laughs> me for that. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, wow. "Fuck you, Jason." Yeah, uh, Sam like pretends to be nice to me and just don't have my back. He said, hates me. Then he called me pregnant twenty times, which hurt my feelings. He's so fa- I don't know why you guys like just <laughs> look up to this guy. And this like is Sam Talon. He's our like, only this. connection to anyone successful. Who do you got? There's a point where yeah. it's yeah. Who do you got? <laughs> Luca Ferro, the Egyptian. Kind I legit of? like he's, Sam he's as a, a friend. Ju- I wish I could just be friends with Sam, but I have to use him for his talent. Well, for me, I'm for like, his fame. I like I like hanging well, out with Sam. What does he do I'm, for us? And I'm just he like shits on us on his podcast, except for Jason. Actually, well, he wanted to do something for us, but then <sighs> he thought our podcast was too bad, which what? is hard to argue that he's wrong because it is bad because well, it's called bad comedy, and that's the point. And well, Dylan, also he did say. Uh, Two relatively funny mean. people, me and him, and then so he so he put us in the same boat, and then he said that Jason's one of the funniest people he knows. No, but then he oh, yeah. doubled down which on means the Jason I am thing. Too, we're in the same boat. Adam Grishetti listens to Sam Talent's podcast, and Sam Talent said I was funny, so that made Adam Grishetti really respect me. Yeah, exactly. That sounds <laughs> well, exactly. But no, but that also by the transitive Just property, have a swayed opinion by the, by, the, by the transsexual property that makes me the funniest guy he knows also because he said it was two uh, relatively funny yeah. guys. If you did comedy, you could obsess. In that role, yeah, yeah. Well, unfortunately, you quit. Well, so. no, I didn't quit. I'll be back. You're like Alex Lucian. No, I have a show coming up. Alex Lucian told me one of the funniest stories ever, and I was just remembering it. That when Trayvon Martin stuff was going down, his like grandpa showed him a picture and said, "People don't know, but this is what Trayvon Martin actually looked like." And then the picture he showed was like a picture of the rapper, the game. <laughs> 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 that See, he had Alex like printed out of his funny. email. He had like printed it out of an email. <laughs> That's a real comedian. What about Tra- yeah. Trayvon Marxist? Uh, and, and he's, kind of, he's <laughs> sounds and, like lefties would really like that guy. Yeah, Trayvon you know, Martin it, it, it's, Short. It's funny when uh, it's funny when like leftists uh, say like, "Go vote. You have to vote so the voters die." So, and it's like it doesn't matter who you vote for. Go vote. And then they're like, "I hate the orange demagogue," and I'm like. That makes me want to vote for Trump so much. Does it? Like, like when they I haven't s- heard anyone say that since fucking 10 no, years you, ago. You'll see when it comes up. So oh, when, it's coming when, up. When the election, like if you're in Illinois, it doesn't matter. It's going to go blue no matter what. It's really funny when I see all these like comics and people being like, got to support Kamala. It's like, it doesn't matter either way. Yeah. They're, it's going to go blue. But you being annoying is going to make me go red. Mm. <laughs> As an angry. Yeah, but I, I have to go purple, which would be Willie Nelson. Purple. 
Who else is in the cabinet? We need to figure this out. The Indian is in the cupboard. Um, oh, ma- ma- maybe Machete. Ma- machete. Wait, is that, does Indian. that mean Kamala Harris is going to have a cupboard because she's Indian? Yeah. So yeah. It's weird. She wants to get in the <laughs> cupboard herself. Okay. Well, let's get an Indian guy in that there. Indian Who can we mean. get? Aziz Ansari? No. He's uh, probably the most popular Indian. I there was that uh, guy who's Republican Indian guy. Vivek. What was his name? Yeah. Oh, there Let's was get that Vivek guy in the cupboard. There was another guy, wasn't there? Who yeah, ran he's against in Trump? the literal cabinet in the primary. Yeah, oh, the primary. yeah, I forgot his name. He would pretend like he we'll, was. We'll just put Vic Pandya in there. Yeah, um, Sonal maybe. But uh, so, yeah, so, so Sonal that, uh, Agrawal can be the. Uh, oh, Sonal. She, she, she'll have a job where she aggravates people. What it? She'll Sonal. be the instigator. I saw Sonal. I actually went to Coles on Wednesday. How was uh, that? To the it store? was actually pretty fun. I saw good. Mike Dwyer after, and he was saying how like he told off the the host at Coles. <laughs> yeah, like I guess he was in a he, he was, was like, kind of already funny drunk at all. Wait, Mike, <laughs> wait, Mike Dwyer was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Mike Dwyer was uh, like it's he so showed up at Coles and he was already drunk from the last <laughs> Mike. So uh, he had the kind of he had a kind of angry energy because there's a lot of people there, but no one was laughing that you, much until I went up. Yeah, you can and, always uh, tell his mood right off the bat, right when you see him. He's a he's he, got he, he's got edge. He, you know? sh- he shows. His, he's also he, chill at the same time, but then it's the he, edge comes back and they chills. He's out. got a hair trigger. Oh, uh, you could just that's what I've been saying. You, you, you can just tell by his <laughs> face what mood he's in, and cause oh yeah, it, it's it's kind of like Dale, but I can tell it even more with him. Yeah. So I'm an easy bar. Like it, this, uh, it kind of concerns me with him. What, what are you worried about? Well, no, because he looks like he, he looks like a little kid, and he puts on this fake beard. He's a little yeah. rascal. Meanwhile, and, he's, and like, then, he's yeah, over 40 and then he's or running around getting drunk, and he's probably what 15 years old. He's like 40. Do you yeah, know like that? 15 going on 40. Yeah, 15 at heart. He, he legitimately is like he looks like a child. A child, I look like the guy. I saw Sorup where at uh Coles. Did you ask him if he was Dale in, in black? I in said. Oh look! It's the biggest fattest guy I've ever seen. You you did, 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 I did his impression to uh, him, yeah. and he was laughing. Oh, he did laughed. Dale move, oh yeah, he, it like it kind of shocks him. I guess it's <laughs> like the, I could do one impression. Shout out to Sorab. <clears throat> did Dale move, dude? No, I think he's moving in October, maybe to Austin. Well, where, well where he was going, saying Austin? how he was filling up a, well, a U-Haul the other day. Oh, maybe he's moving now. Uh, yeah. But uh, I mean, he Shane Gillis is like calling anymore, him and telling him to go down there, so that's the move for him. But yeah, good yeah. for him. Yeah, he should definitely do. That. I feel like uh, I feel like people aren't fucking with him in Chicago as much as he no. used to be fucked no. with. Like but, he, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I mean, he's the kind of comic that would do great in Austin. Zach O'Ryan is not an Austin comic. He's an LA <laughs> comic. I don't care about Zacho, but I'm saying like no, Dale, saying, I, Dale. I haven't he, seen around as much as I. I guess maybe I'm out of the loop though too. I, yeah. feel, I feel like Dale should be being fucked with hard here. Yeah. And he's kind of like fucked with medium. Yeah. It's like, what do you have to do like to prove <laughs> no, yourself? No, you're right. For, um, it's not about it. It, it was it's hard to go to these things, man, because the people are so not funny. Uh, mm-hmm. Going to what? Like ever, all the shows and stuff. That's why yeah. it's got to be Stand-up nice. comedy stuff. Yeah, yeah that's no why I haven't been doing much of it. Thing for you. Mm-hmm. Or are you going to move beer belly, maybe? I don't know. People have suggested stuff about new venues and stuff but i would just take a break for a little I bit legit, we'll t- i don't know i don't want to talk about it but i'm a little like i don't know i don't know you're quick I'm comedy. A, no i don't know if i'm a quick comedy i'm well, just well that means that i have to start doing comedy because we can't have three inactive stand-up comics on the podcast Dylan's inactive. Inactive. what are you talking about three uh, <laughs> are we can't have, uh, sorry we can't have two out of three your brain's inactive <laughs> oh yeah I'm not talking about my brain. Okay, maybe Jason will quit stand up. I'll I'll, I'll do a little more stand up. I'll do one mic a week, and I'll only do paid shows <laughs> after that. <laughs> well, and then uh, I'm still doing two mics a week. I, uh, I've been keeping that going. Okay, so you're still gonna do stand up. But okay. uh, I'm gonna try and do more mics. Actually, I kind of want to. You can be a normal comic. I want to get now. myself yeah. back out there a little bit. You can be like I a you can be a regular like comic. You don't have to be beholden to these all these different no, responsibilities. And watching everyone else, I think if I did that, I could only go to a couple. Maybe like just like one, but then if you don't make yourself sit and watch everybody, I think that you would have it. Yeah, you could I, go I to think, a bunch. I think everyone's. I funny. didn't know when I was going up at Coles, so I did end up watching like twenty people or something. I think everyone's funny, and it was rough. except for yeah. like don't I think, do that to yourself. I think I think everyone's funny huh. except for like white males, in my opinion. White men. White males. White men. I prefer black males. Like when you have something over somebody. Yeah. Well, that that's why I hate that they call I they call black black male the law, or they call 
uh, if you're holding something that can get someone in trouble and making them do stuff, they call that blackmail. Yeah, uh-huh. I, like, is this that, guy's is got that, a bigger dick is that, than me. Is that, is it, no, yeah, it's is my that, last one. <laughs> is that not um, the biggest like red yeah. flag that the Justice Department is trying to put black men in prison? I think the biggest Kamala, red flag is hello. the. Uh, There's already 98 percent Chinese flag. 98 yeah. percent of it's completely black red. men are already in prison, <laughs> and now and we're calling blackmail blackmail still. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're gonna put the other two percent in prison. How are you supposed to get the black vote milk? if they're all in prison? Yeah, thank you, Kamala. Oops. Yeah, forgot about that one. You shot yourself. Yeah, in the foot. why'd you yeah. put all those guys in there? Yeah, like Megan the Stallion. Ass. Who's gonna vote for you now? Uh-huh. You, you know but you're it, really regretting making uh, all of them felony charges at this point. Yeah, it was funny. I was listening to this. <laughs> Dumb man. El- Sorry. The, Re- retard. the president of El Salvador <laughs> was talking to Tucker, and I hated it the whole thing. Uh-huh. Um, and. He was talking about how in like uh, two weeks they completely cleaned up like all the crime and all the MS-13. Yeah, I was like, oh, I wonder where they went. Uh-huh. <laughs> Even the it's weird. It's weird because a lot of a lot more a lot more MS-13 people came to the U.S. Yeah, I, I don't know. MS-13 the... sounds like a part number. Don't say that. <laughs> What? You're gonna get got. What? It sounds get like got. you're, uh, you know, you're ordering like a pipe fitting at a at yeah, a hardware like store. Some yeah, kind of spe- like a spec. What would I get got for? You're gonna Let get, me see the specs. No, you're gonna get you're gonna get uh, canceled by. It's the, not gonna that, get got by the We're MS13. Dude, about? Mexicans love hardware oh, stores. Oh, are that's you, where they that's where they're always sitting outside the oh, Home Depot. Are you uh-huh. talking about the Microsoft 13 they update? They just love They literally hard. hang out in the parking lot of the Home Depot. They're How are they? Mexicans. They love they love hardware stores. I'm talking about El Salvadorians. I'm talking about MS-13 sounds like a part number. Honestly, it's like <laughs> the whole process of applying for jobs and getting them. I like that you show up, some random might pull up, and you go work for him, and he pays you at the end, hopefully. Yeah. yeah. I mean, these guys are entrepreneurs. That's how it should be. These, just, guys are, these guys are entrepreneurs. That's a handshake deal, my dude. Mm-hmm. What do we need all this wall. employment contract? Yeah. They, they say a uh, dollar of an hour. Who's that benefit? And they say, see, senor, that's a lot of day pesos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> make it a peso. Um, day pesos. MS-13 so. also sounds like a uh, government intelligence agency. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it like does. MI5. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that's the El Salvador CIA as a gang. <laughs> uh, well, CIA, you know, that's a real gang. Why is it called El Salvador? That's, yeah, that's the real gang. That's a, fri- a top I, gang. I have a friend named the Sal. Democratic Party. Now that's a real gang. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, Sal Vol- Volcano should be the president of El Salvador. His name Sal. I think it's pronounced Volcano. No, it's volcano. Are you sure? Yeah, c- oh, it's because okay. when he was he was born to a volcano. I thought you know, it was like volcano. Vol- you know, volcanoes. Is, is that how he dies too? To the volcano, I return. Yeah, <laughs> Elon Musk is a Vulcan. Oh, I've never seen an episode of Star Trek, but I know that the Vul- Vulcans are just like autistic guys. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you Vulcan? I'm a volcano. Oh, <laughs> nice. So, but right so, now I'm so a, you're a Hispanic Vulcan. <laughs> no, I'm dormant right now. It's all good. No, volcano. If, you, if I start getting red. Volcano is an O at the run. end because it's uh, from a romance language. So you yeah. ever heard of Pompeii? Pompeo. I know Mike Pompeo. That's all I get when I start listening to this, this blue pill content. I start going, I'm about to be Pompeii. Everybody better get out of here. <laughs> Pompeii was kind of hilarious. And some people were kind of frozen in their statues. Uh huh. Yeah. For, <laughs> for forever. Yeah. That'd be kind of. They were cool. mortalized, but they were murdered. Yeah, I kind of so, want to live by a volcano. I'd say pick one. You either get immortalized or murdered. Yeah. I mean, if pick I was a lane. if I was Sal Can't Volcano, it mm-hmm. is volcano, but I would go by Sal Vol- Volcano because it sounds way cooler. No, you're right. Yeah, you either get immortalized or you live. Which one do you want? Uh, I don't know. I, I do wanna, you want to wanna wanna live now, or do you want to be immortalized forever? Well, you could also just build a statue of yourself <laughs> instead of be, instead of getting statued by lava. Have you ever considered an <laughs> epoxy statue of yourself? I have 100% considered that, <laughs> and I want to be buried in a, a cube of epoxy. Uh, what do you want it to say? Right, I, don't, I don't want it to be buried. I want my I want me to Dude, be like you know, upright, to upright. We could do a Jurassic Park. We could go drill yeah. in and get the blood out of you and then clone you to, into dinosaurs. Or maybe I, a Han Solo thing. You, sometimes, you remember like, that's how they got the mosquito and the amber and that's how yeah, they yeah. the dinosaur? Well, I've been trying to figure out a way to clone myself for work when I get too busy and so I can uh, just... We're talking about reproducing, but yeah. 
No, but just think about all that. Are you cloning? Think about all that industriousness that I would have if I multiplied myself. I got uh-huh. one of me would just only do bad comedy clips. One of me would do work. One of them would do comedy. One of them would do home improvement. You never know with the with the Tesla bot. You never know. Yeah, Elon, can you clone me, please, so uh-huh. I can get more done? Get it, put a Neuralink in the Tesla bot that mimics Max mind. Yep. I think You'll have me, one working on the back deck at all times. Give me give me some more RNA. Leaf blowing. There aren't even leaves. I want some more RNA in my body so I can get ulcerative colitis also. None of them have Crohn's. I want all the IBDs. Mm-hmm. Uh, IBD. Yeah, IBDs are irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, uh, diseases. I thought there was the... To hum- Those bombs to that humble. the Muslims make. No, it's just I think the only real, the only IBDs are uh, Crohn's and uh, and UC ulcerative colitis, which Michael Myers has. Shout out, he's a he's a warrior. Like saw so Michael Myers a cool. Michael a Myers, crony? good guy. I didn't see his set. Max a crony. Uh, no, I'm not a crony. Crohn's I like a, I like I saw Michael Myers and then he just quietly talked shit about some of the comics to me and then left. I love hearing <laughs> and then that he stuff like though. he's like a, such a nice guy to their face. It's, it's so funny. Yeah, I love to hear when people do that. Like, yeah, my, you my, could tell that they, they don't normally tell people. Makes all the funny like comics insider, have all the same opinions as us. They just don't say them. Yeah, but it's like uh, we're, we're the no, truth You tellers. need a space for that. Yeah, yeah. so that's what the podcast. So that's that's why we're moving the podcast to X, folks. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, uh, we have a live show uh, on September 8th at the Comedy Bar Chicago. Uh, go to uh, any link um, in any of our Instagrams at Bad Comedy Podcast, at Bad Boy Comedy, at Cool Jason Melton, at Comedy Batty. I still got to do that, but and, I will by the time you hear this. Get tickets. I, I mean, it's easier late. if you just go to comedybar.com and then look for <laughs> September 8th <laughs> and hit get ticket. And I can promise you it's going to be the best show, the worst show you've ever seen in your whole life, but the funniest it's like show. one week away. We still got to book it. Uh, <laughs> no, we have two it's, weeks. It's, it's all good. I mean, it's all good. Um, it's fine. We don't have to book it. We have Elon. We have Trump. And I was thinking we do have maybe, some big Matt, guests. And then maybe Matt Banwart <laughs> and Harry Breitner. Just us. And Matt Banwart <laughs> and Harry Breitner. I bro. saw Harry Breitner, I think. I didn't even recognize him because it's been so long. Harry Breitner the spy. And he was yeah. being his weird little quiet self. Can we get, mm-hmm. can we, he, he'll, he'll come on the podcast. We need to get him on. Yeah. Oh, we have Mo, Mo on bed next week, though. I love Mo. Uh, oh, so that means we're gonna have that's the thirty first. I only love my I only love Moa Bed and my I only love my mom and Moa Bed. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know that Drake lyric? Uh-huh. I love Mama Bed. I like Mama Bed. Moa, I only love fifty dollars. My mom and Moa Bed. My mom I'm is sorry. so my mom's so old. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> um, no, no, but we're we're, I lo- I love we're, we're not going to be able to I'm complete. Sorry. We're not going to be able to complete the bald month because we had coin shortage on. But oh, we're Chris fucked. Ford, Chris Ford, and Mo, uh-huh. and then we did bald cap. Forgot about the uh, bald so yes. I forgot it was bald month. We're gonna have to put AI bald bald head on coin shortage. We yeah. got Black History that Month. We got we Women's Month. Up. When is Short Bald Guy Month? The, the, the <laughs> guys, if you didn't listen to the... It's like no one cares about that. Guys, join <laughs> patreon.com slash badcomedy and listen to the coin shortage episode because it's very funny. Uh, it was funny. one of the funniest episodes, in my opinion. We had uh, a good time. I was hooting and hollering. A lot of hooting, lots of hollering. Mm-hmm. More hooting. More hooting. I How about you, more I was kind of mad you named the episode Coin Shortage. I think you should have named it Coin Abundance. Yeah, yeah. Or coin surplus. Well, because <laughs> or coin surplus. That's Nor- other. <laughs> Normally, I upload both, and then I just like don't can't figure out the name of what I'm gonna call a guest episode. Is it uh, vape? No, <laughs> I tried hitting this like a vape. This you, is some you, kind of memory <laughs> thing. You're, you're, no, that is you're, a you're so I, is iPod. Vape? You're so uh, poor. You've never seen <laughs> AirPods. <laughs> AirPods. <laughs> you're so poor. You've never seen AirPods. <laughs> I'm such a brokey man. Damn, dude. Do you have like a Walkman? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you put you put in a CD of Tucker Carlson. <laughs> He's old school. He listens to CD. I think me and you might be on the same wavelength of listening to Tim Dillon and Tucker Carlson. <laughs> I, yeah, I watched. I've been, uh, to a lot of I've been watching all the both. Louis C.K. Po- podcasts. Uh-huh. Wait, what? Ta- I watched him talk to Joe Rogan, and it, it's inspired me. Uh-huh. Wait, uh, like so I've, I've been checking out his other podcasts, well, you, like guest appearances. You were, you were the president's one, right? Or I heard train. that a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've been looking for stuff I've never heard, and uh, I, I feel what, like every time the, I hear my podcast, ones? it inspires me. But then uh, when I tried to force it by like 
going out of my way. I will just like accidentally hear him on a podcast and I'd be like, damn, he said something cool. Yeah. But then I tried to go out of my way to look up episodes. I, w- I watched the Tim Dillon one and I just felt like, eh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There were some funny moments, but I, like, I just felt like, eh. Tim, Tim, Dillon, like Tim Dillon's best when he's on his own. I think it's good when Louis C.K. is talking to somebody who's like not like on his level because then he'll say something really cool. Yeah. But if he's talking to Tim Dillon, Tim Dillon will like be waiting for Louis C.K. to finish his kind of cool point, and then Tim Dillon will go on just a long tirade of his kind of cool point. And yeah. It just, just hits mid for me. Right. Like I, this, is a stupid, this is a stupid criticism well, of the, no, of the no, shit. No. It's, but when, the, I don't know. I, that's I, how I, I feel. You. When Louis there's like... He's not willing to just like tell people they're wrong and stuff and just say all his points. Well, Louis C.K. will in, call people out. Like he called out stuff. Joe Rogan for his deep plunge tank, kinda. Uh-huh. <laughs> he was like, he's like, why do you? He's like, I feel kind of bad for the guys who are talking about these things. <laughs> like, why do you think you're gonna make life good? Uh, life is not <laughs> supposed to be good. <laughs> <laughs> I was and then they talked about like evolution and stuff. It was cool. I, I was yeah, thinking about Louis's point when he was like, I, I feel, feel like they should just let everyone in through yeah, the Yeah, that, that was the other part. I yeah. love that part. He's <laughs> like, like I, we should point. just let everyone in What's his to the country. Because like, if it made America bad, that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> like like it's supposed to be bad. It will make it better for point was like people. they're all just miserable outside the that, border. That's a Justin Golak joke. Yeah, it really <laughs> felt like. Yeah, it really felt like that. <laughs> He's like when a wave hits, it messes everything up, and then you just sort of you know figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> sort of splashes over everything, and uh-huh. everything gets a little fucked up, and then you kind of just sort it out. It probably well, get, it probably get really fucked this. up. I think there'll probably be like a big like access denied. Oh, wait. This is me at the border, the people. Access denied. Oh, unless, unless, they're, <laughs> unless they're cool and have, have drugs or something. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was going to be the... If, if, yeah, if they're, open like the gates. If they're in the cartel or in the MS-13. Mm-hmm. Access granted. <laughs> <laughs> Let me smoke this since it's not a vape. Oh, and... They're uh, gone. Sorry, dude. That was oh. my last one. Oh, I have, have another packet. We also got to consider uh, part of our platform uh, when we're president uh, in the next... We're not running until the next cycle, by the way, guys. Sorry. Uh president when we run for uh, by president. the way for the join our patreon at ba- patreon.com slash bad comedy i have a big announcement today i got diagnosed oh, fuck. oh shit that's why you relate okay yeah so shit. you I guys did, this might you know these might be some of the last times to you know hear patreon episodes from me it's kind of like a gen- and then regular episodes unboxing. for that matter and also see me do stand-up in general well the price is and actually, like see me around in general i i'm gonna announce it's like a gender reveal but i'm announcing this soon diagnosis on reveal. instagram uh but if you're a listener you and you're not a patron the price is going up to five ninety four ninety nine it's going. It's going up two dollars, I think, because the because Patreon because because, going because up. Apple is charging thirty percent more to uh, on fees uh, for in-app purchases or some bullshit. So you want to reward yourself? So we're actually now. so we're raising our price thirty percent. Actually, a little bit less than thirty percent. But you're grandfathered in if you're already a patron, and if you join before November first, then you uh, will still get the low low price of. Three dollars and some change. Jason, you think for your <laughs> disease diagnosis, uh, we could do like Super Bowl squares? You could kind of bet on what we like think what? it is or something. Oh, yeah, like your disease reveal or whatever. So it'd be like squares of different diseases. Yeah, and be like, does it affect like this part of your body? Well, that makes me want to wait to announce it then, and we could have a whole gambling thing. Yeah, that's yeah. What we we want to do that. We'll do a yeah. death pool. All right, we'll do a death pool or no, a diagnosis pool. Yeah. yeah, diagnosis pool. Okay, I like uh, that. I don't know how we're gonna do this. We we'll have to talk about it. Well, well you I never mean, know. Yeah. Some people could win a membership. So. Yeah. Oh, then yeah, you could win. A, <laughs> well, then we'd have to do it on the free episode. <laughs> Er? Yeah, that's yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> Shut up! Somebody's here to steal your joke. That was the uh, I, I that was the sound that Tim Allen makes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when, when I when I saw Cat Williams talking about uh, fucking pans, I was like, mm-hmm. I, was, I was so confused. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a home improvement. Right? Yeah. Dude, isn't that cool how that you made that sound and like was famous and he's just going. Yeah. <laughs> just, it's like a fucking weirdo and everyone's like this rules <laughs> <laughs> I, heard him saying I that. love that i love tim allen dude yeah for yeah. that yeah I, but then he stole my joke I saw, so, so, I, so i'm gonna take over i'm gonna create a home improvement dynasty what if like we replaced <laughs> mac with tim allen <laughs> what no uh he's like this is a bad they're very similar <laughs> <laughs> They're very similar. Yeah. I think that would work. Uh, I was thinking about <laughs> challenging. They both love cocaine. Uh, I was, I, <laughs> so I was 
So we should we should figure out when we're going to go to Pittsburgh do um, and do a live podcast. And then I want to challenge. Uh, I'll, I'm going to say Stephen Hofstetter. Uh, we'd love for you to be a guest and destroy us or own us. I guess you like to own people. Oh. Okay. Sam and Talon I, did tell a guy in Pittsburgh that he should headline me on a show. So that's yeah, that was so, nice of him. Yeah. You're asking like what's good about Sam Talon. Yeah, I was talking about the podcast and uh, you, All right, I won't we'll, 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 talk, we'll, talk, we'll talk about your personal Sam No, no, it later. was a subject we talked about. Um but <laughs> Dylan I was just, saying what is like, the benefit of even talking about the, Sam? But it's almost just I just don't like that he bullies you guys constantly or but um, it's not constant. No, but I mean, we, hey it's man, a back and forth. It's, it's prison rules, dude. I think we bully him a little bit more. You know, actually. prison it's, rules. It, yeah, so do you have to prison rules. Like everyone, everyone's just vying for their position yeah. on top. You know, I, I so you have to be bottom. To I be max on top. shanker him all yeah. the time by by hook or by crook. You know, <laughs> yeah, I shank. I max shanker him in the back all the time. We ho- we hook you him what? with crook. I max shanker him. What does that mean? Do whatever I it shank, takes. Slide, cheat, steal. You know what I'm saying? When you say shank him in the back, I heard Joey Diaz describe fucking a girl as stabbing her. Yeah. The stab. So is that what you're saying? <laughs> the, I've heard that before. Yeah, before I, him, M- Mickey, Ava- Mickey Avalon calls his house the stab and cabin. I like that. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So is that what it is when you're with Sam Talent? You should only call it stabbing a girl yeah, if she's on yeah. her period. <laughs> yeah, I call I call I, I call my condo the stabbing cabin for when Sam Talent comes over and I'm just stabbing, uh-huh. yeah. stabbing the shit out of him. Yeah. I call my cabin the fapping cabin for when I'm uh, bait watching yeah. pornography. <laughs> yeah, bay watch more like bait watch. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, but fuck, I've been bait hot. watching bay watch. Yeah. Uh-huh. No. So, <laughs> a lot of women. On so, that I, 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 I want to challenge <laughs> Stephen Hofstetter to to be a guest, <laughs> to be a guest, and if he refuses to be a guest, the, yeah, I'm listening. Uh, I just love this whole concept of like you have to explain to people you're watching it <laughs> to masturbate. <laughs> Like watching why? pornography just for if you say you're watching porn, what other reason could you be <laughs> watching porn? Like you have to cinematography. Why are you spelling it out that much? I think, appreciate the director. I think I think some people do actually like it's porn addicts that do watch it and don't just beat off it. Just watch porn film, all day. Yeah, man. yeah, that sounds nice. But, you want to um, keep a low level horny or yeah. something? But uh, we, we've been invited to Pittsburgh. To we've again. been. That's why boxers don't we, ejaculate before a match. We've been invited <laughs> to Pittsburgh by the. Uh, it's like I always box before I have sex. <laughs> Because <laughs> it'll kind of loosen me it up. It gives me a more competitive. Uh, <laughs> it'll make me hard. I come to the sex more competitive. <laughs> <laughs> I'll so, beat the shit out of her. So to be Pittsburgh, uh, guys. <laughs> All right, let's book something in Pittsburgh. <laughs> no, our yeah, our friends in Pittsburgh want us to come out there and do a live podcast. We have a venue. We have people that want us to do it, and uh, I'm going to challenge, or I'm going to ask Stephen Hofstetter to be a guest and uh, see if he can destroy us or own us because we're not or get destroyed because 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 we're not plants. We're not we're not Q, a Q and A. And if he's, gonna and if he's worried pussy. about me killing him with a pipe, he could zoom in. Yeah, uh-huh. he could well, come in via zoom. And, and then if he tries to take the yeah. high ground and say I wouldn't even waste my time with these guys, what I would say to him is, um, so well, yeah. let's fight then. I challenge you to a fight. So a duel or even a yeah. No, I'll challenge him to an even sex fight. Off. I, I've been training. Yeah, you've been doing a lot of walking. I can do I can do Krav Maga Krav Maga Maga. Uh-huh. Krav listen, Maga. Uh-huh. I can do I can do Tim McGraw martial arts now. You do impressions you know first impressions. I no I I, I learned uh, the Israeli fighting thing. Krav, Krav Maga. No Tim McGraw. Oh Tim McGraw. Yeah. <laughs> do you think that'd be a good comedy show? First impressions. It's your first time attempting an impression of. Mm. I think it'd be horrible. <laughs> I don't know about I thought this is like a bad comedy show. Horrible. But Mike Ashton, you know that big uh, guy uh, who's like autistic yeah, yeah. and creeps out all the women, but is oh, yeah. seems harmless though. Yeah, somehow. Uh, he um, did impressions at Power Hour yesterday, and it was like one of the hardest times I ever laughed. He sets up the joke like this. He's like, "This is my impression of like." He named like four people hanging out. It was like all famous people. It was like Kamala Harris and. Uh, the guy Tracy Morgan was one of them, and like, it was like four people. And then he went on to do, and Bill Clinton was one of them. He did all the impressions, and then he went down the line, and did an impression of each one of them, and each one of them just kind of sounded like him, like with a little higher or a little lower voice, you know. That's like awesome. he couldn't really do it, but and then they all talked like how he talks, like they said words that he, like he didn't change his dialogue either. Uh-huh. And it, nobody was laughing, but I was dying like yeah, i was yeah. dying like i thought it was so funny it was a little bit though. like you could see what he was doing but yeah. he was like it, it was such an ambitious attempt 
four. I'm a, I'm not just gonna do an impression. I'm gonna do four impressions. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I do, and, and they're all talking. I do to that. Each other. I do that when I sing a Highwayman. I do four voices. Yeah. Um, but the same. I have an idea for Hofstetter. Uh, we'll give him that uh, an injection. You know, the one that makes you uh, like you're conscious, cool. but you can't move. You're you're, you're paralyzed. Mm-hmm. We'll have, we'll what is that like a like a anesthetic or something yeah aesthetic. we'll have him in a chair it'll have like locked in syndrome pretty much and then we'll do stuff like this like so oh we'll do some dental work we'll go. and people people would be like <laughs> and then <laughs> I love it. yeah let's see if uh his mom gets a google alert on that yeah i'd like to, i'd like to have google analytic anal anal sex with his mom you nice. should ask Steven uh, to compare decks. Yeah, and yeah. And then you'll both take pictures of your deck, we, back we, deck, and see. We 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 could measure him to a dick measuring Yeah, is this just yeah. a deck measure? I bet, yeah. I bet, I bet is that what this has yeah. been? I, I bet he's got a tiny penis. We, we, mm. Do you guys have tiny penis? That's why he dates younger women, to make his penis look bigger. Because I, 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 th- <laughs> I, I, I think on stage... <laughs> why he only marries children. <laughs> Married children. It's yeah. his show. I'll do... I'll, if, you're, if you have a child-sized penis, why can't you marry a child? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give Stephen Hofstra three options: be a guest on the podcast, <laughs> or fight me, or do a literal dick measuring contest in per, in on stage. So pick your poison. Yep. Mm. Bell Biv to bow. Mm. Yeah, and I, you win his child wife. I think he's got a small win. penis. Yeah, I don't want his child with bride. Uh-huh. I don't want her. Well, maybe, maybe want I, I'll, I'll save her and turn her into the authorities so she can go to foster care. Sell her. Sell her. To put her in the cell or uh, uh, Andrew Tate or something, uh-huh. John Benet Ramsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. who <laughs> killed John I, Benet? I still don't know she's who that in the is. Cellar. Uh-huh. I don't know who that is. St- I think I, she's still alive. I only know that name mm. because of Brian Johnson. I think she faked her own death. <laughs> <laughs> who is I think that? Brian Johnson's been doing that joke since the 90s. Who is that? <laughs> it's Brian she's, Johnson's she's opening joke. Pageant girl. Yeah, he, yeah, she went missing and then they found her dead body. In like the basement of the house, allegedly, uh, allegedly, and then they never figured out who did it. And the parents are like, "I don't know," but who everyone was rich. Mm-hmm. You think Chameleon Harris actually has the power to be a kind of a chameleon? Change? Is she, yeah. I, do you I think, think she, she loves w- to lay on a hot rock. Probably. I don't think uh-huh. that she does because I think she would have changed by now. I love her, Hillary. L- I love her laugh though. <laughs> it's like. Yeah, <laughs> that's Kamala Harris's laugh. Just <laughs> nervous. <laughs> but I, her laugh is annoying as shit. Yeah, well, it's because she's never. It's crazy to make it that far in life and have that bad of a laugh. Well, she never it used to laugh. Crazy. She just learned how to laugh for the first time because she had to to uh, become likable. She just waits for someone else to laugh and then she laughs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a smart way to do it. Well, we. I always actually, I always actually laugh at funerals, you know. Uh-huh. And then, and then Kamala Harris laughs right after. I did that once, honestly. I started cracking up because this guy was dude. Was talking about like some of the the person whose funeral was there talking about talking about oils and all this stuff. It's like who fucking put this guy in charge of the speech? Yeah, and we just started <laughs> laughing, and it was a real problem. Yeah, and I regret it. Well, sometimes I couldn't stop s- it. Sometimes people would give. Like funny ish speeches. Like, it's just a the horrible time speech did, at a funeral is this? horrible. Yeah. Funerals are pretty fun. Yeah, and they're intense. Well, the, the but they that's what that's when the ch- the church brings out its biggest bangers like no, but Take the, 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 You Up on Eagles Wings. I would have loved that song at that point. They, that's when they pull the pull out the hottest their hottest track, uh, Take You Up on Eagles Wings, whatever it is. That's at funerals. So that's why I like I like going I to funerals to support it, the family of the the dead person, and uh, to pay respect to the dead person, but also because I want to hear that song. Pay respect back because this guy should have his mic cut. I swear. Who? This guy at this funeral, and he was in charge with the speech. I think he worked at the church, and then they're like, "Yeah, I guess let him do the speech." Was it like, like Matt Band? Really was it Matt Band? That well, but uh, Matt Band squirt. I believe it was Matt. Wait, wait. Man do you work. think maybe that's why Zacho's going to Austin? Is because it's Matt Band Squirt, and he and Zacho th- think Squirt is P. I I think they're oh, going maybe. there to clout yeah. chase, I believe. And it's but but one thing I know for sure is that Dale well, <laughs> Dale will do well in Austin, and uh, Zacho won't. There's this little show called uh, Tony Hinchcliffe Kill Him, yeah. Kill Tony Hinchcliffe, and uh, they make meth heads famous. They take they take these people who have like brain damage, and then 
Like I watched, so, I watched some of David Lucas's special. Holy shit! Is it bad? It's one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. It's not good. I really like he's, it. he's 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 better. Oh my god! He, he's and a, he's like he's just famous. A good, he's a good shit talker. Is that, that's all he's good at. I heard he was rude in real life too. So yeah. Yeah. just like he is on time. stage. Am I right? He's always roasting people. Probably Chris Fork. I just want to hit you up. It's a number I don't. Oh, it's a number I don't know. It probably is him. Probably saying, uh, hey, we, uh, we can we can wrap bro. it up anyway, um, folks. Uh, live show. Remember, this is uh, uh, September eighth. So if you're if you look at the calendar like a Monopoly board, you go to you land on uh, September eleventh. You, you land on nine eleven. Uh, mm-hmm. You pay. You get the you get the chance card. It says go back three spaces. Go back three spaces. It's Sunday the eighth. Go to comedybar.com and. Uh, that's the day that you buy the ticket for. There, I bought most of the tickets already, so um, you might want to really hurry up and get yours. If, uh, you, if you can handle us this much, please just go there that night. It'll be fun to get out of the house. It's going to be just like go wild. Support yeah, us it's not, not going to be dumb. It's going to be re- it's gonna be R worded. And when we do the next one, then you can reevaluate then. And then on September third, also, I'm gonna do a plug for me. Um at Small World Bar and Grill on the South Side. I'm doing a show for a bunch of bikers, so I might get shot. If you wanna see me get shot, for all of you haters, come mm-hmm. watch, come watch me. And I actually we, I love Tucker Carlson. I don't hate remember no, from the beginning. Yeah, we're gonna clear the air here. Yeah, so yeah. Jason. Oh uh, and um huge do you have any plugs, Jason? Uh, plug. Cool Jason Mel on Instagram from Jason. Uh, he's got some health issues going on, so he's, he's had to step out. We're gonna do a huge health reveal soon for Jason. Yeah, yep. follow me before it, before it's too late. Yep. Oh, um, and just a reminder, guys, the the new uh, schedule for episodes is uh, uh, it's so weak. Mondays. Mondays the patrons get the normal episode, and then it goes. Public on Wednesday, the normal episode. The Patreon only episode drops on Thursdays. I think I have the black lung. Okay, with Jason, in two weeks, folks. So you, you black lung. <laughs> if you're, <laughs> it's on the, it's on the board. So, so if you're a patron, it's you, on get, the squares. you get two day. <laughs> you, I think I have the black lung. <laughs> Is I think I have the black Zula lung Zula pop. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm smoking these uh, CBD sticks. <laughs> That's my son. What, what is my son out there? I got green lung. <laughs> What's when he? What, what is he? When he's a mermaid in that commercial a on the TV and it's a merman. <laughs> so he's like, liquid is the essence of beauty. <laughs> <laughs> that movie's awesome. Um, um, I can't turn left. <laughs> Mugatu, do you have any plugs? You can read mine. Do you have any plugs, Mugatu? I cannot read mine. I have comedy baddie. I think I have uh, pretty much no shows right now. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just uh, fucking buy our Patreon, please. Yeah, yeah before it goes up in, in November, on November first. Uh-huh. And Jason, we already went through it. Follow me at Bad Boy Comedy on everything. Follow the podcast at Bad Comedy Podcast on everything. Join the Batty Army. Join the Batty Army because we actually it's about to be a, a hell of a world guys. War. We, we have some talks with uh, Comedy Bar, and believe it or not, Comedy Bar is they're a lot bigger than you think they are. They're they're they also own they're part of BlackRock. Uh-huh. They're, they're part of Vanguard. Um, Vanguard. Um, they're part of uh, a lot of like def- uh, weapons building companies like mm. like Raytheon and uh, what, yeah, uh, what's the other one that, that this whole made, up, made off industries? Or yeah. So Raytheon would be a great with a lot Raytheon of money. is a great name for a non-binary person, don't you think? It is. I yeah. believe they have a large stake in Enron. So guys, if you don't think this podcast is going to blow the heck up with all the uh, with uh-huh. all the stuff that Comedy Bar owns, including Raytheon and BlackRock and Vanguard, then you got another thing coming. So join right now uh-huh. so you don't have another thing coming. You already got it in your pocket. You don't want to be saying, what the heck? You don't want to say, what the I'm heck? living in hell? Oh, and buy a, buy a wallet from Oz King. <laughs> buy a cool... <laughs> link a, link, link is below. It's 45% off. Um, and, folks, we love you guys. And, uh, I mean, uh, if, you're, if you're a Pittsburgh fan, uh, get ready. Get ready for... For havoc, and if you're a Chicago fan or a Pittsburgh fan, drive out here. Chris, I'm gonna tell Chris, you guys, my Chris cats, Reva drove like, out here, and he he weighs like 800 pounds, and he drove his Flintstones car here, and boy, were his legs tired. Uh, 
I wanted to say I, I, the Pittsburgh thing. I got two cats here now. I kind of forgot about that. And oh, so okay. We might have to bring them it's with, fine. or we me, might have me, to me and me get and a cat watcher. Me and, yeah. J- me and Jason went last time without last two times. Though. Yeah, and it sounds like it worked out pretty well. Yeah, then, so it's, it's been fun. The fans might appreciate so more. What, did you see that <laughs> someone co- that guy commented from that was at the Sauce and Erie? Yeah, he <laughs> followed me or added oh, yeah. me. Yeah, he loved yeah. us. <laughs> and he, yeah. You know what? I, it all this thing. I don't know, I'll tell you about it later, Dylan. It builds. You it don't understand because I know you don't want to put any energy in if you don't get immediate benefits. No, it's literally my cat. <laughs> You're like I a typical. No, uh, it's not that right now. You know, a typical non-disciplined person who no, doesn't have any it's patience. My little black Sabbath yeah. and <laughs> Orange Floyd. I need to take care of them. Well, okay. for me, for me, for the podcast, it's not. It's not about being big. I'm gonna do it forever, my whole life, and no matter what. And it's gonna until, be big until the guns anyway. accidentally loaded, and I accidentally. <laughs> You start opening every like, podcast by dry firing it against your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be poetic. It's so like Shakespeare. All right, uh, uh, Dylan, you had any closing words for the folks? Um, so, you want to say something say, nice to them? Uh, God bless America. Yep, got. Uh, with a question mark at the end. Um, yeah, uh, <laughs> God bless America. Uh, vote. Uh, vote. Vote or die. Vote. Says uh, P. Diddy. Yeah, vote. Vote the for. Fuck was it? Didn't age well. Yeah. But make sure you uh, don't vote. Yeah, maybe you might live then. Depending on who you're going to, depending on who you plan on voting for, maybe uh, vote or don't vote. Um, we'll see you folks at the voting booth.